He's been a roof up over my head. He's been a doctor, y'all, on my sick bed. He's been good when I was a hungry. He's been my friend, y'all, when I was lonely. Say, ooh, we another blessing. Ooh, we another blessing. Oh, we another blessing. He's been good to me. 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 Woo, we all. Come on, anybody know that's another blessing? That you simply can say, oh, we. Another blessing. We welcome you to the Mount Hermon Missionary Baptist Church until our cyber sanctuary. Amen. But truly, this is the day that the Lord has made. We choose to rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, magnify his holy and righteous name. Come on, let us exalt his name together. Come on, Corey. We. Oh, 
say it one more time. I love this unity. Come on. Oh, God is the joy and the strength of my life. He moves all pain, misery, and strife. He promised to keep me and never to leave me. Never, never come short of his word. I got to fast and pray, stay in the narrow way. Keep my life here every day. I want to go with him when he comes back. I come too far and I never gone. Oh, God is, God is, God is, yeah, he's my all, my all, and, and all. I believe just one more time because somebody going to get this revelation. Oh, God is the joy and the strength of my life. He moves all pain, misery, and strife. He promised to keep me, never to leave me, never, never come short of his word. I got the fast and break. Stay in that narrow way. Keep my life clean every day. I want to go with him when he comes back. I come too far and I never turn back. God is. God God is my all, my all, yeah. Come on, Deacon Eddie Williams is going to pray for us this morning.
that heal, Lord. We look to you. Bless us with the blessing that you stand in need of. We don't know why. We don't know why. But we know who holds tomorrow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We don't know why we're going through these turmoil days. But when it's all over, when it's all over and we know, God, that that is a day that it will be all over. Say the prayer. Say the prayer. When it's all over, we'll know that thy will have been done. Lord, I just don't know how to fix the words to say it. I, I can just talk from the bottom of my heart. I'm just so thankful that we are able to be here. Men has gone on before us. But we know that it was your will. Help us to understand. Give us the courage. Keep on keeping on. And look into the hill for which cometh our help. Knowing that you are that hill. And when it's all over, when it's all over in the fullness of time, you will heal this land. We know that. But just help us to keep the faith. These and all blessings. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Because it'll be all over in the morning. Ain't no need to worry what the night gonna bring. Anybody know in the morning? Morning, yeah, it'll be all over in the morning. Come on, all over the building. Ain't no need to worry. Come on. Ain't no need to worry what the night is going to bring. It'll be all over in the morning. Come on, in the morning, in the morning, morning, morning. It'll be all over in the morning. My soul is happy. I got to tell somebody, ain't no need. Ain't no need to worry what the night is going to bring. It'll be all over in the morning. I don't know how long it's going to be, but lift your head up and say, in the, in the morning. It'll be all over in the morning. 
the people of God said amen. Hey, I don't know about you, but I got the best band on this side of heaven. Come on, show these musicians some love. Amen. Throw them some hearts. Amen. And then we thank God for this, this praise team. Amen. Sister Gloria Denise Tyner, Sister Vivian Nellums. Amen. Now, Sister Tylee Fenoy, Sister Simon Adams, Brother Corey Walks. Always thank God for Melvin Diddy Boy Floyd for helping us on the cameras and the sound system. Amen. To, amen. Brother Wendell Brooks. Amen. Brother Carl Harper. Brother Earl E.J. Johnson. Amen. Thank you. And then we thank God for Deacon Eddie Williams who took us to the throne of grace. And then we thank God for each and every one of you. Amen. Amen. There is a word. Amen. Found in Psalms 103. Psalms 103. If you uh, paid attention to my Facebook page this morning, the message in the moment, I gave a personal testimony. Amen. This robe that I have on today uh, is the late Dr. Raymond Wilson's robe. Amen. He ordained me to be a gospel preacher October 18, 2002. Amen. My pastor died uh, June of 2002, and he ordained me, amen, in October 18, 2002, and his daughter thought it not a robbery, amen, to bless me with the robe that her daddy had on when he walked her down the aisle, amen, when she got married some years ago, and the strange thing about it is I was uh, here at the church, and I went home, and there was this box at my door, amen, and that was this robe, amen, and then she had his obituary in it, and his last sermon that he preached was uh, December 2016, amen, and it was also Psalms 103, talking about the blessing of holding on to the Lord, and I called her, I said, you just messed me up, she said, what happened, I said, yo, daddy's last sermon is what I'm preaching on tomorrow, and then you messed around and gave me this perfect purple robe, because y'all know I like purple, Purple is the color of royalty. Amen. Amen. I like that. That sounds like blessed assurance. Amen. As I get myself together, let's do a verse of blessed assurance. Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Blessed assurance. Jesus is mine oh what a foretaste of glory divine come on y'all Come on, this is, this is. Father, hide me behind the old rugged cross that your people don't see me, but they see you. For sir, we would see Jesus. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Come on, hit that share button. Psalms 103, verses 1 through 5. Psalms 103, verses 1 through 5. Simply says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgiveth all thy iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, 
who satisfy thy mouth with good things so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. One more time, verse 1 and 2. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. And I just want to talk about the benefits of a blessing. The benefits of a blessing. Can I share a testimony that uh, my road dog shared with me? Uh, you know, everybody want to get old, but you really don't want to get old too fast. Mm. And so he called me. He said, Doc, I, I just saved $1,000 a year on car insurance because now I got AARP. I said, I said, huh? He said, man, I ain't even 60 yet, but I got benefits because now I am an AARP member. That's a benefit right there because every day you wake up, God has something in store for you. One more time, I said every time you rise up, every time you open your eyes, that's a benefit from God. Here we have the writer by the name of David. David's whole thing for Psalms 103 is God's great love for us. What God does for us tells us what he is really like. One more time. God's great love for us. What God does for us tells us what he's really like. That's dealing with the attributes of God. That he got hands that he can catch us before we fall. He got legs so he can walk with us. Who wouldn't serve a God like that? That every time you stand in the need of something, every time you're going through something, his love will show you how much benefits he has for you. Okay, you still looking at me in that tone that I don't want you to look at me in. Psalms 103, this hymn is one of the greatest praise songs in the entire collection. Out of, the, out of 150 psalms, Psalms 103 is the greatest of them all. Why, Johnson? I'm glad you asked a good question because it's right there in verse number one. Bless the Lord. Okay, you, you missed it because you don't know what that word bless means. That word bless means to extol. That word bless is what we get the word Barack. Yes, that's the name of our favorite president, Barack Obama. That's where you get the name Barack from. Uh, Barack means to bless. Barack means to extol. A Barack means to tell of his goodness. So every time you wake up, you ought to bless the Lord. You ought to tell of his goodness. You ought to tell folks what he's done for you. You ought to tell folks when you were sick, nobody but God. When you was hungry, nobody but God. You ought to have a blessing on your lips because if it had not been for the Lord on your side, where would you be? So David says, bless the Lord, oh my soul. Watch, David said, ain't nothing wrong with talking to yourself because every now and then you got to talk to yourself because sometimes you're the only person that can encourage yourself. Can I be honest with y'all for a minute? Friday was a rough day for me. Friday, I just wanted to jump in my car and go wherever I wanted to go because I felt like the walls were caving in on me. I felt like I was getting ready to go through depression. Oh, look at y'all. Y'all thought I was Superman. I ain't Superman. Just like you can't handle this shutdown, I can't handle this shutdown. Just like you want to go to the mall, I want to go to the mall. Just like you want to go shopping, I want to go shopping. But Friday, I had to start talking to myself. Said, no, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. No, you ain't going through no depression. Get yourself together. Put some clothes on. Get in your truck. Shine up your truck. Drive your truck down the road. Put on some music and let the world know can't nobody Hold you like the Lord. See, see how holy you trying to be? You trying to act like you ain't got to talk to yourself because I talk to myself every day. I tell myself, boy, you know you look good. Boy, you know you doing good to be 37 years young. Boy, you know this. David said, bless the Lord, oh my soul. So David had to start talking to his soul to tell his soul what to do. Right here, I'm still in verse number one. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. And all that's within me, bless his holy name. 
David started looking at his hands and said, hands, you better start waving or start clapping the feet. You ought to start dancing or you ought to start running because can't nobody do what the Lord has done for you. Come on, let's talk about this thing for a little while. Since March to now, you done had some good days. You done had some bad days. You done had some ups. You done had some downs. But yet, God keep doing, looking out for you. Yet God keep waking you up. Yet God keep you in your right mind. That's a place right there to tell him thank you. He says, he says, he says, bless the Lord. Oh my soul. So you got to talk to yourself. You, you, it's the same David that had to encourage himself. And sometimes you got to encourage your own self. Don't, don't look for encouragement from your bae, your boo, your wife, your wife, or your husband. Sometimes you got to go in a room all by yourself. And I find myself when I'm driving down 85 talking to myself, telling myself, self, it's going to be all right. Self, this too shall pass. Self, hang in there. And that's what David said. You got to start talking to yourself. Tell yourself everything going to be all right. Come here, Marvin Winers. Ain't no need to worry what the night is going to bring because it's going to be all over in the morning. And I don't know how long your night going to be. So David put pen to paper and say, weeping may endure for a night, but joy going to come in the morning. So, so he says, he says, he says, you got to talk to yourself. The first section, verses 1 through 5, David finds himself expressing his intentions to praise God for all his benefits. Okay, y'all ready? Cause, cause y'all looking at me like y'all don't know what benefits David is talking about. So David put pen to paper and tells me the five benefits. Y'all ready? First of all, I'm blessing him because he forgive me. Okay, that was so simple that right there. I, I I gotta bless him because he forgive me for all the things I've done wrong. See, some folks tell you they forgave you or they forgive you, but they keep bringing up how you used to be. Some folks talk about they forgive you, but they always want to remind you what you've done. But I'm so glad I serve a God as far as from the east as from the west. He put my sins in the sea of forgiveness, so he forgive me. David said, when I think about all the crazy things I done done with Bathsheba, I done think about all the crazy things. My son tried to sleep with his own sister, tried to kill. Ain't nobody talking to me. When Saul had me, but yet God keep forgiving me, I got to bless him right now. Come on, think back over your life, over the, some of the foolish things you've done, some of the things you shouldn't have done, and yet God keep on forgiving you. Yet God keep on showing you mercy. Yet God keep on showing you favor. That's enough right there to bless him for the things that he forgave you from. Ah, uh, ain't nobody want to talk to me because I've been some places. I've done some things that I shouldn't have done, but yet he keep on forgiving me. Yet he keep on waking me up. Yet he keep on letting me preach his word. Yet he keep on letting me be on top of the ground and the ground is not on top of me. So I got to tell him thank you. He says, he says, he says, I'm, I'm, I'm thanking him because he's forgiven. Not only did he forgive me, but uh, I'm, I'm a shot right here. He's a God who healeth. Oh, right now, y'all don't know when to shout. He, he forgives, but then he turns around and he heals. Now, I don't know what he, he has healed your body from, but I'm a two-time cancer survivor, so I thank God he's a God that healeth. Uh, okay, y'all y'all looking at me. Y'all looking at me in this tone that I don't want you to look at me in. So let me come get you. David said, I, I, uh, uh, I've been through some things. So God, he, he not only has he healed me, he healed my family. Y'all remember when David got Bathsheba pregnant and the child died and David went and mourned and sat in sackcloth and ashes and David sat there and finally David had to get himself together and begin to talk to the Lord. Ain't nobody talking to me. Have you ever been there? That's why I don't get mad at people that when they go through stuff they want to be by themselves. Let them be by themselves because while they're by themselves God can minister unto them. See you, I need friends like Job. I need Job friends that'll come and sit with me. You ain't got to know my business. Just come sit with me. Just come pray for me. See we need to learn the presence, the ministry of presence. See, sometimes it ain't about what 
watch and say it's about being there and every now and then you just need to let somebody know look I ain't got nothing to say I'm here for you I ain't trying to be in your business I'm here for you ain't nobody talking to me and I need more people that know that God will heal you when you're by yourself okay can I show you can I show you because y'all still looking at me in this phone that I, I, I don't want you to look at me you, you, you know like I ain't no, I ain't no doctor uh, in the medical field. I don't know much about science, but your body has a way of healing itself. When you, when you cut yourself, uh, it sends a message to the cells to say, "Hey, Lamar, left index finger is bleeding. Y'all rush down there, and then your finger start healing itself. Put some Neosporin on, put a Band-Aid on, and and you will start seeing your finger start healing itself. See, you ain't even have to go to the doctor. That's the type of God that I serve. That every now and then, if I'm sick, ain't, I don't need no medicine. I just call on Doctor Jesus when I'm going through something. I just call on Him, and He got a way of showing up." sooner than soon, quicker than quick I thank God that he's a God that not only forgive but he's a God that healer okay no, no, notice he says he says he says he healer he forgiveth uh oh he redeemeth because I was sinking deep in sin far from the peaceful shore very standing deep in within sinking to rise no more but the master of the sea heard my despairing cry and the waters he lifted me now save am I anybody other than the preacher know that you were sinking in sin but he reached way down and picked you up thank God he's a healer he's a redeemer hold on hold on I, I ain't got to you yet cause you you looking, you looking at me in that tone that I don't want you to look at me and like he ain't never redeemed you from some things like he ain't never saved you from some things but there been some car accidents that he redeemed you from there ain't nobody talking to me there's some places that got shot up but you wasn't there thank God he redeemed he's a wonder to my soul I wish I had somebody in here that knew that he's a wonder to your soul that knew that if it had not been for him if he wouldn't have hold you if he wouldn't have redeemed you if he wouldn't have saved you where would you be right now he says, he says, he says, he says, he says, not only does he forgive, not only does he heal, not only does he redeem him, but who crowned him. Oh, he, one of these days, uh, you can't crown him till I get there. Uh, y'all remember that song that they sung, they got the word? Uh, see, y'all, 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 don't, y'all, y'all too holy for me. I said they got the word. And I said, you may meet me to the great coordination, but you can't crown him till I get there. Uh, see the Bible said the dead in Christ got to get up first and then we which were alive and remain shall be caught up together and meet them in the air so you can't crown them till I get there you can't call them king of kings you can't call them Lord to Lord until I get there so David said out of all the foolishness I've done out of all the craziness I've done yet God keep on crowning me yet he anointed me at a young age to be the king and I've been through some stuff I've done some stuff and yet I'm still the king guess what but baby Baba, you done done some stuff but yet God still keep on blessing you see that's the problem I got with folks in the church you once you get saved you act like you always been saved no you were something else just like all of us and the only bee that don't make honey is a used to be you used to be a liar you used to be a gambler you used to be a cheater you used to be a adulteress you used to fornicate you used to do something so don't act like you better than everybody else cause you have been saved since Methuselah I thank God that he had he still crowns okay y'all looking at me y'all, y'all looking at me in this tone that don't want you looking at me in see that's why you know, we need everybody I need you and you need me see the Bible says in Proverbs iron sharpens iron so I need somebody who's just as sharp to sharpen me I need somebody that been through some stuff I need somebody uh oh come here Paul Paul tells the church at Corinth we are saved by the testimonies of the saints and I need some saints that really been through some stuff I need some saints that know what I'm talking about I I don't need you that was born with a silver spoon in your mouth I need somebody that can say to the utmost Jesus say he had to reach 
reach way down to pick me up. I was out there dropping it like it's hot. I was out there smoking. I was smoking everybody. I was drunk every day. And if God can heal me, if God can slow me down, baby, ain't nothing he can do for you. Uh Uh-oh, come here. What's above your head is under his feet. And anything that's under his feet, he can control because he got the whole world in his hand. about you but I but I'm satisfied with Jesus okay 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 uh yeah Vicky Wine and put it this way as long as I got King Jesus I don't need nobody else I, I like that Vicky but I need some other people uh because Jesus told me it's not good for man to be alone it's not good for us to go around here by ourselves so yes I need Jesus but I need some brothers and sisters that don't mind praying for me I need some brothers and sisters that can get a prayer through I need somebody to know that serving the Lord has paid off right now I need somebody to know that God would do the exceedingly abundant above all that we can ask the thing I need some folks that really know how to get a prayer through I need some folks that know that this pandemic may be one thing but God still can hold ain't no Talking to me, I need some more folks that know that God can, whoo, just like that. Anybody ever had God do it just like? Uh oh, come here. I'm talking about He did it just like that. You said one thing and you went down on your knees and He just like that. And that's the type of God I serve that He'll do it just like that. But hold on, even if He don't do it just like that, I know He's still able to do it. And then when He do it, it's gonna be all right. David says, David says, I got some benefit because I can praise. Uh, hold on, I got to go, y'all. He says, he says, now, 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 parents, grandparents, uncles, aunties, you need to look at verse number five one more time. Number five says, who satisfy thy mouth with good things so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. If I had a warrant here, a warrant would holler at to me, wait, Reverend. Y'all missed it. But the Bible said that they, I wish I had some help in here, that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength and mount up with wings like eagles. Run and not be weary. Walk and not faint. Come here, David. David wrote Psalms 27, 13, and 14. I had fainted lest I believe to see the goodness of the Lord wait on the Lord. Again, I say, and be of good courage. Now, beloved, I don't know if you got all five benefits now, but if you keep on waiting on him, if you keep on holding on to God's unchanging hand, if you learn how to trust him and never doubt, Anybody here know that he will bring you out? And I heard my grandmama say, I've learned how to lean and depend on the Lord. Is there anybody here that's going to help the preacher close out this sermon? Uh, right there, verses 1 through 5 is the first person, but the next section is verses 6 through 19, that which speaks of God's character containing us. Uh, if God's character is merciful, gracious, slow to anger, and plenty of and mercy. Uh, and that's Calvary right there. Uh, because God is so merciful. Uh, because God is so gracious. Uh, because God is slow to anger. Uh, and he's plenteous and mercy. Uh, he sent his only son uh, down to save uh, a wretch like me uh, and I wish I had somebody here that know that you can see Calvary uh, right there in verse number 6 uh, while we were yet sinners uh, Jesus uh, died for us uh, is there anybody here uh, that know he died uh, for you and me uh, I said anybody here uh, know he died uh, I 
I wish I had some help in here. Let me talk to this side. Anybody here know he died? Let me talk to this side. Anybody here know he died? He died to the moon went down in blood. He died to the sun refused to shine. He died to the earth begin to reel and rock. Surely he died. But anybody here know that ain't the end of the story. Come on, let's ride this thing. Anybody here know that ain't the end of the story. Because early Sunday morning he got up with all power in his hands. Anybody here know he got up? Anybody here know we serve a risen Savior? He's in the well. You ask me how I know he lives within my soul. Can I have some help in here? Anybody here know he walks? with me he talks with me he tell me that I am his own anybody here feel like shouting I wish I had my crown but I thank y'all in cyber sanctuary do me a favor don't you touch nobody but slip your arms around yourself hug yourself rock yourself Satan self, I got a feeling everything gonna be all right. Can I give y'all a word? This too shall pass. Oh, shucks. I got a word. I got a rain of word. Better is on the way. Better praise. Better worship. Because if God can take you through this, if God can take you through that, then you owe him. I said you owe Every time you wake up, you ought to have some blessings. Every time you wake up, you ought to have a hallelujah. Every time you wake up, you ought to have a thank you, Jesus. Every time you wake up, you ought to have a glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Anybody here feel like doing a Marvin Gaye? Throw both hands in the air. Wave them like you just don't care. Can I get you to say, oh yeah. Oh, shucks. Anybody here know my Jesus? Anybody here know my Lord? I'm out of here, y'all. But I got to go. Before I go, I got to tell you, I may not know three things. I may not know two things, but I know he's all right. Say I, say I, say I. Ain't he all right? Oh, shucks. Ain't he all right? Can I do y'all to do me a favor? Can you look at yourself and tell yourself, bless the Lord. Oh, my soul, as all that's in me, bless his holy name. Look at your hands and tell your hands, bless the Lord. Look at your feet, tell your feet, bless the Lord. Well, then you ought to make your hands move. You ought to make your feet move. I know they said dancing belongs in a Pentecostal church. I know they said dancing belong to them sanctified folks but I'm saved sanctified filled with the Holy Ghost and every time I think about Jesus I may not dance like you I may not dance like you but David said I'll dance to have a dance in you. So here it is. We have some benefits when we learn how to bless God. David said, you ought to tell yourself every day, bless the Lord. 
oh my soul and all that's within me bless his holy name why Johnson because he has done great things bless his holy name the doors of the church is open we and send you a, a cyber viral imitation Come on, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. Oh, my soul. And all, and all that is within me. Bless his time we get ready to go. He has done a great thing. satisfying us. Thank you, God, for loving us as only you can. Thank you, God, for wrapping your arms of protection around us, keeping us from all hurt, harm, and danger. Continue to bless every essential worker. Cover these doctors who are getting tired and weary cover these nurses with your blood cover these custodians these cafeteria workers these caregivers and the social workers bless our first and our last responders bless police officers everywhere bless the paramedics and the firefighters bless every funeral director funeral attendant bless the ones that work in these restaurants bless the ones who work in these stores bless us in our going and in our coming bless churches everywhere
continue to bless pastors who are still struggling whether to open up the church or keep the church closed. Continue to give them your wisdom and your knowledge and your love. Bless churches across these United States. And even bless our leadership, oh God. We don't agree with everything they say or do, but we respect the office. And then, Lord, would you bless Mount Hermon as only you can. Continue to allow us to be pastor and people that we may grow together in your love. And then when it's time for us to come back to be pastor and people, let us come back with a blessing on our heart with a blessing in our mouth because you've done some great things for us would you own us and crown us and your name should get all the praise now unto him that is able to keep us from falling to present us faultless to the only wise God be power dominion both now and forever and the people of God said amen Hey man, hey